All right, everybody, we are going to go ahead and get started here, you spoony bards. So, last time we played Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, we concluded with a potions class, and we learned that Malfoy has been uh, doing something tricky with Quidditch balls, and uh, we need to go replace the uh, tainted balls that he messed with with some good fresh balls apparently so that's what we're going to be doing right now is finding Malfoy's balls so we can make sure we have a fair Quidditch game that's not tainted make sense yes of course it does all right so let's go ahead and start playing Prisoner of Azkaban and we might even beat this game uh this time we'll see I, I understand that there's not very much more in this game so uh let's uh, go ahead and continue and uh let's have fun Let's do it. All right. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Let's play. Okay. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to be going yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. Um, let me see. Potions classroom. I think that I might need some Wiganweld potion. But uh, we'll go ahead and get that started. And uh, you know what? I need to ban this person right here. There we go. Ta-da! The magic of moderating. Okay, so I think we got some Wigan Weld potions here. Yes, we definitely will want those as we uh, get started here. So let's just collect some potions a little bit, and then we'll get started. Let's see. I, I need to see how many. Uh, let's see. I've got one anecdote. I'm probably gonna need more. An anecdote, antidote. <laughs> Not an anecdote. An antidote. I'm probably going to need more of those. I don't exactly remember where to get them. Hopefully I'll find one along the way. But she has one. Hermione has one. Maybe Ron has one. Let me let me see if Ron has one. Let me get out of here. Does Ron have one? No, he's got dung bombs. Okay. I'm probably going to need more of those too. Maybe I should go get some. I need to get those from Fred and George on the sixth floor. So let me go get some dung bombs first before we uh, head to the Quidditch field. And hopefully we'll find some uh, an antidote on, on along the way. We'll see. All right, we're just running up this way. Loading. Loading. The most fun part of the game. At least it doesn't take as long as Hogwarts Legacy does. Jeez Louise. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna... Beans! How are we doing on points? Let's see here. We have... 320. Yeah, 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 yeah. 291. We're winning by 29 points. The hourglasses show the current house point totals. Apparently, we know to find the Quidditch balls outside. Uh, apparently, we know that. They're not hidden in the dungeons or something. That would be the first place I looked. Look, there it is. Yeah, but we can't hmm. get to it from here. The only way to How get convenient. To is to go out into the grounds and then fly in. Or something. Fly in? I know. Let's go get High Wing. I mean, Buckbeak. To lose. How are we going to get into that courtyard? We have to find Buckbeak. Let's go. Yep, that's what I figured. Hey, buddy. My cat just jumped up here. He's going to sit right next to me, just like he always does during streaming. Ugh, avoid the fairies. I really dislike the fairies in this game. Come on. 
Ron, I'm running as fast as I can, homeboy. Here's Beaky. Approach with caution. You cannot go over there. You can sit on my lap, or you can sit right there. There we go. Bow. Lie down, buddy. Lie down. Let's go. Climb aboard. So, fly to that courtyard in front of the clock tower. Let's see if I can actually fly to the right spot this time. This must be it right here. I went way too far. Alright, we're in here. Now what do we do? Prince of Persia! Nice! You'll have to let me know how that game is. I like the, the Super Nintendo one. What am I supposed to do here? That looks like it needs to be fixed. Oh! I see. I see. I see, I see, baby. Okay, good. Jump up there. Oh, and that's a... Yeah, I need to cast Draconophores. On this fella. That activates him, and what's he going to do? He's going to burn the rope and release the Quidditch balls. There we go. All right. Let's get our balls. Got it. Got it. Now to go to the Quidditch Stadium. Okay. Where's that? Oh, boy. Let's see if I can find the Quidditch Stadium. Oh, it's going to time me again? Do I need to get... Okay, I need to get on Buckbeak again. It's got to be to the left, I would think. I'll try this way. No, that's the way I went last time. And it didn't work. Let's see if we can see it somewhere up here. I feel like Buckbeak is really, really slow. I feel like I'm flying really slow. Come on, Buckbeak. Do we land right here? I think we land right here, actually. I think I was going to the right spot, I just didn't land in the right spot. We made it. We made it. Hey, Danny! How are you guys? I need to do some uh, sound alerts here. Just in time to show the evidence to Professor Dumbledore, who quietly removed the juices from the Quidditch balls and allowed the match to continue. This gave the Gryffindor team the help that they needed, allowing Harry to catch the Golden Snitch. You were fantastic! What's the matter with Hagrid? Hagrid? It's no use. Beak is going to be executed at sunset. Oh, poor Buck him. Beak. Oh, After he just helped us. Do? There's nothing you can do. The time's set and that's it. They just run along and turn in. I've got to go and make Beaky comfortable. Maybe we could... Oh, I don't know. No, Hagrid's right. There's really nothing we can do. We should turn in. Okay, so should we end the day? I think we should. Um, let's end the day, and then it's going to be night. We need to go to Fred and George's to get some more dung bombs. And after we do that, we need to find some more antidote as well. I'm not exactly sure where we find that. Hopefully we'll be able to find some, though. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. Oh, yeah. 
We're still winning. My cat is on his scratching post. He's being very, very good right now because Harry he's scratching his scratching post. The Gryffindor common room, worried about Hagrid. They're going to execute Buckbeak tonight. We've got to go and see Hagrid. He can't just sit there on his own waiting for the executioner. You're right. Let's go. Let's -a go. Potion vial case. Hurry up! They're going to execute Buckbeak soon. All right, we're gonna be Ron, so I don't have to listen to him. We have to go this way. So we're already facing the trolls, I think. Make sure we're not seen. Yep, I know. Okay, made it. I think I just picked up a dung bomb. Now, I've made it this far before. I think we made it. All right, we made it that time. Nunya? I've never heard of that game. Going down to Hagrid's to comfort him. With poor Buckbeak. Who's about to be beheaded. Ooh. Um, okay. Staircase changed its mind, I guess. There we go. Come on, let's go. Bill Beer's combat basketball is definitely quality entertainment. Well, it seemed to work pretty well that time. Thank you for the test, Sarge. I guess the refresh worked. We've got to go to Hagrid's hut. It's popping up immediately on mine. As soon as I see it, you guys type it. It's as popping Harry up on my overlay. At Hagrid's hut, the executioner came to seal Buckbeak's fate. He's here. Don't let him see you. Oh, oh that was it. Way. That's all you hear. Scabbers. Peter. Oh my goodness, it's the Grim! Ow. Ron was dragged into the Whomping Willow. Harry and Hermione chased after him. Oh boy, we're going into the Whomping Willow. Alright, I'm going to have to fight branches or something now. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh boy, here we go. Are these going to... Nope. Oh, oh, I don't even get to fight the Whomping Willow! Oh! I don't even get to fight the Whomping Willow! No, don't go that way. You sit. This is your spot right here. You you lie down right there. I don't know why you are so insistent on walking across B. Uh oh, I'm gonna need Carpe Retractum. Hey. 
Get him. Get him. Pull his shield. Pull his shield. Am I even hurting them? Okay, yes, I am hurting them. They're hurting me too, though. Turn around. There we go, okay. Took care of those guys. Was not exactly very clean. Kind of a pumpkin pasty and a wig and weld potion. Does that have an eyeball on it? Okay, we need Hermione for this. Hermione, why would you run right into it? Put out the fire. Harry, why would you go stand on it? Ouch. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. That's good. How many Wigan Wells do I have? Only one. I thought I had more than that. Oh, I'm gonna need Harry. Carpe retractum! Oh! Whoa, that was close. Oh! Okay, I think I need Hermione again. Wait, wait, can I get something out of here? Oops, wrong button. Oh, that gave me a teeny tiny bit of health. Very generous with the bean. Very generous. It's exactly what I needed. Ouch. Is she dead? She's dead. I, I can't beat it without her. Oh, Harry's got more Wigan Weld. Okay. Brilliant. Harry needs to back up. Closer. Freeze. And the Pindo you to your grave. Harry needs. Harry could use a potion, that's for sure. Whoops, wrong button again. I'm so used to Hogwarts Legacy, I'm pushing the wrong button. Hermione, get out of the way! A bean. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Oh no. Oh no.
Take your time, Harry. You're not dying or anything. I really need some antidote now. Thanks for that. Okay. Um, let me make sure. Drink the Wigan Weld. Good. I think Hermione has some Wigan Weld. Hermione, you drink your Wigan Weld. Hermione? <laughs> oh, yeah. I keep pushing the wrong button. Oh, goody. Another Wigan Weld. I needed that. Locked. I think that's the way I came. Harry, move out of the way. Can I get another? Nope. Okay. What the heck? Drop down. I think I need Harry. I think these are the guys with shields. Banana seat. I want a banana seat. How awesome would that be to have a bike with a banana seat again? I never had a banana seat bike. My uh, friend's sister did. Did good. Definitely got some more potions there. That's nice. Okay, I think we need to fix this box. Yep. Okay, let's push this box over there. So we can climb up, 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 up. And I think Harry needs to do it because he's got the Carpe Retractor. Nice. Oh, they're mooning me. Hermione, get up here. Help. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to be a lot harder than I, it was. It actually was. Harry, if you wouldn't walk right in front of where I want to cast, that's the that's one thing that really drives me crazy about this game. Ah, good. Okay. Uh, trunk. Trunk. Oh, push the button. Oh, move the trunk so we can push the button. Got it. Okay. There we go. Which episode is that? I don't remember that. Probably a more recent one. Did it open this door? It did. Now where are we going? Okay, up the grand staircase. Well, not the grand staircase. The um, shrieking shack the tunnel staircase. From the oh. willow led into the shrieking shack. Uh oh. Harry discovered that the black dog was in fact serious black, Even worse. And that Black had not been trying to murder him, but had in fact been hunting down Peter Pettigrew. Peter. The man that had truly betrayed Harry's parents to Lord Voldemort. No! He can go to Azkaban. Azkaban. 
Excaban. As they marched Pettigrew to Hogwarts, the full moon rose, and Professor Lupin transformed into a well. No, Lupin! Oh. Do I get to fight the werewolf? Do, oh, it would be awesome if I get to be serious and fight the werewolf. Okay, here we go. Here we go. In the confusion, Pettigrew escaped. Oh, there he goes. The little weasel. The weasel rat. Oh, I don't get to fight. Oh, man. I have to fight the Dementors. Okay. Okay, let's fight off the Dementors. Wait, what, where's Hermione? Hermione's running away. Because she can't do per Expecto Patronum. I have to Expecto the Patronums. Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm dragging serious. Oh, yeah, this is a great plan. Harry, you learned Expecto Patronum. Just do that. Okay. I hope I don't die from this. How am I supposed to avoid that? How am I supposed to avoid that? I hope that doesn't happen again. No, it definitely is going to happen again. This is a silly level. This is like the very first level. And it makes sense then because you don't know Expecto Patronum. But now you do. Dystope! Hey! How are you doing? Oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. I need to cast Patronum. Uh, Expecto Patronum. This is exactly what we did in the uh, level earlier when we were practicing. But there's a whole lot more this time. There's not just one. This isn't that hard so far. It's going to get harder though. More of them coming. This guy's getting too close. They're all backing up. He's getting a little too close for comfort. Back up, feller. Making the world unsafe. Are you hacking it up? Using your hacker skills? You elite hacksaw? Hey, it's Giddy! Giddy is here! I didn't even notice that. I was concentrating too much on my Expecto Patronuming. I saw my dad! I saw my dad! Oh boy. That was exciting. Now we're gonna have to. Um, three turns should do it. Eager to explain to Dumbledore what had happened. Professor, Black's telling the truth. He's innocent, Professor. Hi, Jackie. I believe everything you say, but there is nothing I can do. What we need is more time. Hermione understood immediately. Dumbledore was giving them permission to use the time turner she'd been using all year to attend several lessons at once. Sorry, Ron. Seeing as you can't walk. I'm going to disappear Ron by twitching this little thingy, hourglass thingy. Having rescued Buckbeak, Harry and Hermione hid amongst the bushes beside the As lake. As the moment drew closer to Black's capture by the Dementors, Harry's mind wrestled with the vision of the shadowy figure and the ghostly creature that he had seen by the lakeside. I know it sounds crazy, but I think it was my dad. Harry! You mustn't be seen! It 
was time for the rescuer to appear. But no one was coming to help this time. No, where's the rescuer? He had not seen his father. He had seen himself. I've got to save them. Save them, Harry. Let's see that full Patronus. There it is. Clear out a path. Trying to clear out a path here. I'm charging it up, but I'm not sure if that's exactly helping or not. We'll see. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Now we're getting that main Dementor. Yeah, buddy. Couldn't quite make it through that time. Now they keep getting in the way. Now we're cleared out a little bit. Now we're cleared out a little bit. There we go, through, the, through them all. Good, good. The Dementor's about halfway dead, but so is Sirius. This is getting pretty serial, guys. Serial black. Get him. Oh, what happened? Okay, one more time should do it. Oh, did that do it? I think we defeated. I'm super serial. You conjured a Patronus and saved Sirius. Thank you for the exposition, Hermione. Take him to the tower. We've got to hide. We still gotta hide. Always hiding. Hide, hide, hide. Save your hide. Do you reckon Sirius is up there yet? Who's that coming out of the castle? McNair, the executioner. He's gone to fetch the Dementors. <gasps> the Dementors. One of us has got to get Buckbeak to that tower. Tower up there. Oh, great. More navigating. Hurry up! The Dementors are coming! Okay, okay, okay. Hermione? Which tower was it? There it is. That's it. The one that I can land on. How can I ever thank? Get on! There's not much time! The Dementors are coming! More Dementors? We'll just cast Let's another Patroni. You truly are your father's son, Harry. I like the way he actually has green eyes in this one. They actually look like... Um, they, they look pretty unique, you know? They, look, they don't look like the uh, movie actors, you know? They, they look like their own uh, unique characters, which I, I really like. I wonder what the new uh, actors, who the new actors are going to be that are going to play the TV show that's going to be on Max. I think it's going to be on Max. It's not coming out for another year, though, something like that. The truth behind what had happened the night that Sirius, Buckbeak, and Pettigrew had vanished, except Harry, Hermione, Professor Dumbledore, and Ron. Nobody except them. The best of the last day of term to say your goodbyes for another year. And 
to do anything that remains to be done. I'll remind you that we will soon hold the House Cup ceremony. But if you would like to run along now, come back to me when you're ready to see who's won. Ah, he wants us to gather more points, I guess. Let's save it real quick. We could go and collect more points, but let's just go ahead and see if we have won. No reason to co collect more points if we have, in fact, won. Let's go ahead and see. I simply can't give a class all the attention they deserve, especially with my particular ailment. Poor Remus Lupin has to resign. Uh, apparently they're going to be doing, like, every single episode is a chapter or something. It's going to be much more related to the books. For their loyalty, courage, and their significant contributions to the school, it gives me great pleasure to award the House Cup to Gryffindor. Oh, Snape totally pwned! Yahoo! Oh, Malfoy, you failed again. At least Dumbledore didn't completely screw over uh, uh, the Slytherins that time by adding a whole bunch of extra points at the last second, right? And that's it. It's a pretty quick ending, wasn't it? Yay, Gryffindor wins the cup, and then it's over. <laughs> What are bonus activities? Let's see what these are. Mini games, gallery, credits. I guess we have to watch the credits now that we have um, completed the game. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And that's it, guys. We have completed Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. That was it. We played it on the Xbox. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Um, it's a pretty good game. I still say Chamber of Secrets on the Xbox is the best Harry Potter game. It's my favorite. Yeah, that's the that was it. That was the end. Um, I wish that a couple of things. I wish I could have had a battle scene with the Whomping Willow. You actually do get to battle the Whomping Willow in Chamber of Secrets. You know when the car flies into the Whomping Willow in the Chamber of Secrets. So you actually do get to fight. Okay, I, this music is too loud, isn't it? Let me turn this down just a little bit while I'm talking. There we go. So... The Chamber of Secrets, you actually do get to fight the Whomping Willow. It's unfortunate that you don't get to fight the Whomping Willow in this game, because that would be great if you could. Um, and the Whomping Willow is really used um, quite a bit in this uh, in this uh, book, slash movie, slash game. So I think that there should be a fight with the Whomping Willow. I think that you should have to fight Lupin as a werewolf. I think you should be serious, and you should have to fight Lupin as a werewolf. That would have been great, but I didn't get to do that. Um, it would have been nice to have a little fight scene with Peter Pettigrew as well. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen either. Um, and that didn't really happen in the movie or the book, though, so I can't fault them for that, you know. But uh, Chamber of Sequins, <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but uh, there's a couple of things about this game that bother me. Um what I've already mentioned, as far as, you know, it being... It, the ending, it ended way too quick, you know? It ended way too quick. There's way too many fighting red caps. Those little guys that, that shake... That twerk at you. Um, who carry shields and twerk at you. John McEnroe, get out of chat, please. Um, there's way too many of those guys. The, the fairies are ridiculous. Having to fight the fairies and then having to carry around enough of the antidotes when the antidotes are really, really difficult to find, that kind of drives me crazy as well. Um, the main things that drive me crazy in this game is Chamber of Secrets had excellent um, spell targeting and casting. This game completely destroys that. It, 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 for some reason, they went backwards. It's obvious that this game was like rushed when it was developed, or something like that, because this, the the spell targeting, targeting enemies and targeting the uh, things around the castle that you can strike in order to get beans and Wigan Weld potions, things like that, 
it's just so much worse. Things I do like about this game is I really like the way you can change characters. I think that's very creative. Being able to play as Ron, Harry, and Hermione, that's great. I love that. But they get in your way. And they get in your way, they hit you with spells. The AI is, is, is very um, quirky and wonky. I don't really like that. But uh, yeah, that, it's a pretty good game. Uh, it's uh, not as good as Chamber of Secrets. Not as good as uh, um, the uh, Order of the Phoenix on the Wii. I'm really looking forward to playing that one. However, the next one that we're going to play, Goblet of Fire on the Xbox. Oh, man. That one is bad. <laughs> I mean, I, I complained a little bit about this one. Goblet of Fire is bad compared to uh, the, what we just played. It is bad. So when we play that one, I'll show you exactly what is... I, I'm, I'll be complaining about it a lot. <laughs> I'll be complaining about that one a lot. But yes, that's uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. And uh, next time we uh, we play a Harry Potter game, we will be playing the dreaded Goblet of Fire. So look forward to that, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we will continue next time.